Hello everyone. I will be presenting on the topic point process application on coronavirus disease 2019 a prediction model on New York state. Uh, it is under the course ECE 6397 state space estimation with physiological applications. The outline of the presentation is introduction, methods, results, discussions, fu possible future directions and conclusions and I have added the references too. The recent COVID-19 outbreak has triggered panic across the globe prompting travel bans, visa restrictions and large scale quarantines. Let's look into the pandemic facts about COVID-19. COVID-19 that is coronavirus disease 2019 is an infectious disease caused by severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2 SARS CoV-2. Uh, uh, it is a respiratory illness that uh, can spread from person to person. There is no vaccine to protect against COVID-19 or an antiviral treatment. Uh, so the doctors depend upon the immune system of the patient to recover the patient. But there are few preventive measures. As shown in the diagram, uh, the social distancing uh, norms have been followed that expects people to stay at six feet distance from each other and preferably stay at home with an exception of uh, to an emergency situations uh, but uh, in order to treat people at a large scale we need to predict the number of cases so as to suffice the need of resources. The coronavirus has again made New York City ground zero after the 9-11 attacks. The center of the crisis is reshaping Americans lives, liberties and fears. In order to help solve this issue, we need to know the gravity of the issue by knowing the statistics of the New York state. Uh, the state has the highest number of cases in the entire country. Uh, the total number of cases per million population is 7258 whereas the total number of deaths per million population is 280. The total number of tests conducted for COVID-19 are 3,40,058 out of which 1,42,384 are tested positive. The above cases are till 8th April 2020. Uh, these numbers are increasing at alarming rate. It is necessary for us to deal with the situation on a large scale. For that we need to detect the antibodies. Uh, the solution that uh, we suggest is that uh, to accurately predict the amount of test kits needed, there is a need to predict the number of cases. Uh, susceptible infected recovered susceptible model SIRS model is being used. Uh, the susceptible stage, the individuals at high risk uh, of having the disease, whereas the second stage is of infectious stage, that is the individuals are infected, whereas third is the recovered stage in which uh, the a person has been recovered from the infection. The rates at which they move from one compartment to another, considering these to be an compartments, uh, is uh, first it is proportional to the population in, in each of these compartments. How many are susceptible, how many are infectious and how many are recovered. Second, uh, the transmission and recovery rates associated with the disease. This is the model that we are going to use in order to uh, find the number of, in order to predict the number of cases. Uh, in uh, the SIR model uses uh, the following formulas. Uh, it, it is a Poisson distribution. Uh, it considers it uh, the uh, function to be a Poisson distribution and uh, the R0 is the reproduction ratio whereas uh, the T I0 T minus tau is the uh, number of confirmed cases I0 is the number of infected in, uh, entering the population whereas D is the number of days person is, in, con is contagious A lambda is the expected value and T is the number of days since the start of the outbreak. Uh, this uh, The graph shows the number of cases that we have the data for uh, according to the dates that is from uh, the month of March till that of April. April 6th. 
basically the SIR model uses maximum likelihood estimation and uh, the predicted the predicted curve is the magenta curve uh, whereas the uh, uh, cases that are infected is in green uh, the difference between the predicted and uh, the cases of infection um, that is the real value there is a difference because of the anomaly drop that is happening on March 4th whereas the uh, other uh, other dates are being accurately detected uh, only because of the anomaly at uh, April 2nd it has uh, given a drop but if we use it to predict a new data point the new data point that is given to the model is 10450 and it accurately detects the value to be 10,980. Maximum likelihood estimation was used to predict the number of cases that can occur in the future. Here the coefficients of the states are unknown and the, that is the reason maximum likelihood estimation was used. On the contrary, uh, if the purpose would have been uh, fi to find the hidden states, then Kal Kalman filtering and smoothing would have been used. Furthermore, expectation maximization would have been used to determine both the unknown coefficients and the hidden states. Various other factors such as total number of deaths per million population can be considered. Amount of demand and supply of the medical equipment can be aided by tracking the number of cases. As in New York state, there is there are shortages of ventilators and surgical masks while in some states there is no shortage. Uh, using this model, the distribution of equipment can be done efficiently and would be able to tackle this outbreak in a better way. We can also use dynamic Bayesian modeling. Uh, uh, as shown in the figure, the figure shows the uh, forecasting of U.S. car sales in Japan, and we can use it for the uh, to distribute the necessities in different state. Uh, here, P D uh, P is the price uh, and uh, the demand and the health industry. How much ever demand is there, that much would be the supply, and hence uh, the uh, health industry would uh, determine the price as well as the supply, as shown in the figure. Um, further, uh, these are the references that I have used, and uh, thank you. The license. Thank you, everyone.